you know, none of us were able to ever accomplish too much without support. I mean, I look back to, 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 to you know, one of our big supporters, uh, uh, I'll forget names. I mean, even though Sidney Selinger. Yes. Okay. I mean, Sidney Selinger was, you know, you know, we, we thought at the time back then, Sidney, you know, was, was uh, 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 taking us to Mazio's Pizza on 299 day <laughs> as, you know, what, whatever, but he was important to us. Uh, I'm trying to think of who could possibly be still there. Rick Finnamore. Sure. I don't know if Rick is still supporting ORU or whatnot. Yeah. Very important to us. There, there, there were multiple people like that, that even though back then, it was a different way of doing things and, and the interest level wasn't as great. So the giving probably wasn't quite as important. Like, I, I mean, I, I, we, we recruited uh, uh, Rod's uh, son, Bryce Thompson, who, yeah. lives, who lives over in, in, in a similar area, just across 75. So every time I go see him, I drive through campus. I, I, I would take, I'd take my staff and drive through campus. And I'm amazed at the, the athletic facilities over there that the way we have you know, all the sports over there, I guess, with the exception of basketball, all participating in there, whether it be soccer, whether it be baseball, whether it be track and field, it, you know, it, it's, it's impressive. And the new student center and things like that. And I know I haven't been there in a long time. So naturally, there's going to be upgrades and changes made. But it was impressive to me to see that. And, and, and then you have the maybe center, which has withstood the test of time regardless. I mean, yes. I mean, whoever designed that, developed that architecturally, what a magnificent job they, they, they did, because it, it's still an elite place. Uh, and there's so many positives that, 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 that I, I saw just driving back through, and that doesn't happen without people that care about their school. And, and, right. and so if, if there's people out there that, that, are, that are, you know, during these COVID times and during with the, who knows what's gonna happen election-wise, the market, who knows what the future holds, but we still gotta invest in our young people and, and uh, you know, so if you're, you know, our young people are, are student athletes and, and certainly the students at ORU or Kansas or wherever. And, and so uh, uh, I, I hope that this reaches people and they understand the value of, of what their support means. And, you know, you could, you could do it by collectively, everybody giving a little, uh, uh, but naturally, you need major gifts too, to 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 uh, be able to make ends meet with with uh, with major projects. But but all you're doing is investing in our youth, and and, and you get a chance to get in on a, on a on a level where you take more pride in, in in your support because you know your support potentially makes a difference. So I, I uh, uh, I'm big on that, and and certainly anybody that that is that's ever supported a school and has seen the the, uh, uh, the benefits of their support, I promise you, there's a pride there that exists that, that, that you know, makes you feel like you're right there in the action. And, and I know people out there at ORU, and I know Paul, uh, Paul's working his butt off, uh, uh, Coach Mills, and trying to get everything done the way they need it done. And, and uh, even though it's a different time, and I'm not associated with Paul in any way, shape, or form, I'd love to see ORU do well, but I know in order to do well, you got you got to raise money.